All right, you guys. Awesome. So welcome to our Tuesday night call. For those of you guys who are on your cell phones, I'm going to please ask you to grab your phone and press mute um, because we can hear you and I cannot mute you guys. So um, I don't want to say the, the numbers, but if I need to, I will because I really, really need you guys to mute your phones. 562-716-4832. Um, if you can please mute your, oh, hold on, I, I can mute, never mind, I just muted you. I don't know I could do this. Okay, perfect. All right, you guys, so welcome to our call. Um, my name is Carla, and today's call is going to be really, really great. Um, we're going to be going over, we're going to pick up from products. Um, whoever is on a, hold on, let me go ahead and mute. Let me see if I can mute you guys, because I can hear you. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick up from where we left off last time. And uh, just to give you guys a quick overview of what we covered, I'm not gonna go through everything. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you. Uh, somebody who says I've got everybody, can you guys please mute your phones? Hold on. Adriana, can you please mute your, li your, not your line, honey? How do I mute it? Let me mute you guys. Mute all. Mute all. Okay, there. I just muted everybody. Yay! Okay, I don't know why it wasn't working a while ago. Okay, perfect. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let me go ahead and uh, and share my screen here with you guys. Um, okay, one second. Okay. Um, let me see. Can you see the products? Oh, um, okay. Okay, you guys, I can't see you guys now. Hold on a second, you guys. We had this difficulty last time. Hang on a second. Stop share. All right, hold on a second. Let me do this really quick. So we go here. Hold on a second. All right, so you guys, while I struggle with this, grab a piece of paper and a pencil um, so that I can go ahead and there we go. There we go. Share screen. Okay. Let me see. Um, let me see what I can ask. Megan, can you see the product slide? Say yes or no. Yes? Okay, perfect. Okay, I can see you. Yes? Okay, great. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and cover really briefly. I'm actually going to be doing two things today. I'm going to be covering with you about the products and how to retail them, okay? Because today we had some new people here, and I think um, something that I did might might serve you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with this. So really quickly, um, last, last week, I'm just going to do a summary. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. We talked about why our products are so amazing, why our opportunity is so amazing is because more than ever, people are really looking to, you know, control their weight. They're looking for more outer nutrition and, of course, for fitness. And so one of the things that, um, okay, how do I do this? Here we go. And one of the things that people are really struggling with is overweight, right? And we know it's an epidemic all over the country because people are really not having a healthy breakfast. So I'm going to stop here for just one second. I'm going to go over um, um, uh, antioxidants and how to prevent from getting sick over the winter time. But before I do that, I'm going to stop here for one second because Here's the thing I want you guys to get, you guys. When we've had people here at the office, I know most of you guys, if not all of you, come here to the office. And one of the things that, you know, so many times we want people to lose weight or they want to bulk up or whatever the case may be. But if we just stop and ask them, number one, what are your goals, right? Like, what is your goal? What do you want to accomplish? And we be quiet and we listen. And then what you want to listen for is they're going to give you their problem, okay? Most of the time it's not a problem, but they're going to give you their problem. And we need to then give them a solution to that problem. So one of the 99% of the time, well, maybe 90% of the time, most everybody that walks through these doors or most everybody here in the U.S. doesn't have a healthy breakfast, okay? So one of the things that I did with um, this guy that came today, one of my guests, I was asking him, he's like, you know, I want to, he's really lean. He's very buff. He's like, I want to lose this little love handle. I can't get rid of this. And I said, well, you know, that's all sugar. And he's like, oh, you know, and he told me all his diet, like how much he loves candy and all this stuff. And I said, let me ask you something. What do you typically have for breakfast? And of course, you know, he's like, well, you know, sometimes I have cereal. Sometimes I have, you know, I go down breakfast all the time. He's like, well, not all the time, right? And I said, look, and here's something you guys want to write down. is like, if people were to just have a healthy breakfast every morning, okay, I, sh I, I, I showed them this graph. I said, 
your sugar levels would actually be normalized. Okay, I'm not going to go through diabetics again, okay, because every week we've been talking about that. But I basically drew out, you know, a little line. I said we're having too much of all of this and not enough of protein, carbohydrates, all this stuff that we need. And this is why you're having crazy cravings. Now, if you were to just have a healthy breakfast, this shake, and I brought the shake and the formula, uh, formula one and the protein, I said this shake right here is going to give you all the vitamins your body needs, and it's going to fill you up, it's going to, you're going to feel great, and you're not going to crave the sugars, right? So what I want to share with you guys is as you're presenting the products, speak into what they are needing, okay? Because then that's what, 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 what will stick with them. You know, another guy that was here today, same thing. He's always at the vending machine. He's always hungry. So I said, look, if you start your shake with a healthy breakfast, you start your breakfast with a healthy shake, okay, you won't be craving so much stuff. So I hope you guys are getting my, I, my um, what I'm trying to tell you here is make sure you speak into what they say they struggle with, okay? Why is that? Because most people are not starting their day right. And just by giving them a healthy formula one every single morning, it's going to give them all the vitamin, proteins, vitamins, minerals, fiber, calcium, everything their body needs, okay? And I just learned this on the doctor call at 6 o'clock, that Herbalife owns 30% of their market share of, 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 uh, of, uh, of, of meal replacements. That's crazy, okay? So it's, um, yeah, so that's that, okay? So we went over all this. We went over the core products, which is, um, we're, they're not talking about um, antioxidants and not getting sick. We're going to start here, okay? So first, I know I already covered this last week, but I'm going to recover this again. The Formula One being the most important product that we have. Why? Because it gives you a healthy morning start, okay? But then, the one product you've got to remember to add, especially if you're somebody who's always getting sick, somebody who gets bronchitis throughout this, this time of the year, um, or somebody who just doesn't have a lot of energy, you want to make sure you add that multivitamin. Okay, we covered this last week that why you want to have this multivitamin, why you, why you want to have a multivitamin three times a day is because your body this whole one one a day thing okay well you need energy for breakfast for the middle of the day and for dinner so this multivitamin is really going to help you okay make sure that you have lots of vitamins and minerals you'll notice that your skin will be healthier your hair will grow faster and your nails because it has a lot of vitamins also has folic acid calcium and iron so who can take the multivitamin? Okay, I just found out one of our, um, one of our, somebody, I'm not gonna say, but I just found out somebody's pregnant and I was on the phone with her and I'm like, girl, you can totally take the shake, the multivitamin and cell activator, okay? Now, obviously if somebody's on prenatals, then they might not wanna take this multivitamin because then they're doubling on vitamins, right? So that's just choice that they will make. Um, if I were pregnant, I'd probably take my multivitamin versus the doctors, but that's just my personal opinion. But if they're taking the prenatal, let them take the prenatal, okay? But absolutely, they wanna take the cell activator. Why the cell activators? Because look, it gives you the aloe vera to help you support your body's absorption of micronutrients. Right, they say you're you're as healthy as what you can absorb, right? Because you're as healthy as you can eat. But if you're not, if you're eating, you're not absorbing nutrients. It's not going to go to the cells. So it's so important that this cell activator gets added, to, especially to somebody who's always getting sick, somebody who um, is always on all kinds of medication. Cell activator is going to help to reactivate the villi in their small intestines so that they can absorb the nutrients or medications a lot better. All right, so in conclusion, these core products are the core that everybody should really be on. Shake, multivitamin, cell activator. Now, we call this the trunk of the tree. To this, we add other products, okay? So let's go ahead and cover the products that we're gonna cover today. Today, we're gonna go over we already went over all of this. Today we're gonna go over, well first, before we go over the immune system, let's go over these two products, okay? Because here's the deal. The holidays are starting to come around. People are gonna start to get super stressed out. So I'm gonna tell you, relax now is a must 
on everybody's tablet box, okay? This is one of my favorite products. Actually, it's probably Sergio's favorite product because what it does is it helps to maintain a calmness without you being feeling stupid. You know what I mean? Like so many times people take stuff that helps to calm their anxiety or their nerves, but because it's got so many, so much medication and drugs and stuff like that, it kind of makes them stupid. So they can't drive, they can't do this, they can't do that. This is not like that at all. What this does, it helps to just reduces the stress, takes off the edge, helps you get you in a good mood, okay? But makes you, you can still function. You can still drive, you can do everything, okay? So this product is really, really great. It's designed to take one a day, but some of you guys might need more, okay? So um, for those of you who cannot sleep, have a hard time sleeping, what you could do is take Relax Now, like right after your dinner, to start just calming all the stress, calming all the worries, okay? And then take Sleep Now about 30 to 40 minutes while, before you start getting ready for bed. So I'll tell you what I personally do. I come home, you know, after probably tonight's call, and if I'm hungry, I'll have some egg whites. Right? I already had my shake, okay? And I'll have some egg whites or something like that. And as soon as I'm done eating, I'll have two, two sleep nows. Maybe I'll watch a little bit of TV, but by the time I wash my face and all that, I'm already feeling really chill, and it helps you sleep, but it doesn't knock you out, okay? So it doesn't make you, like, again, stupid, where you cannot wake up the next day. You literally just wake up refreshed. You take two sleep now, about 30 to 40 minutes before you want to go to bed, and it really helps for you to um, wake up refreshed and just you get, it gives you a good night's sleep. All right, so why am I talking about these two products? Oh, God. Why am I talking about these? Whoa. Why am I talking about these two products? I don't know what happened. My mouse is going crazy. There we go. I'm talking about these two products. It's because... Okay, I don't know what is going on with my mouse. Sorry, you guys. Um, okay, what the? Okay, I don't know. Anyway, why I'm talking about these two products is because what ends up happening is a lot of the times, if you're not sleeping well or if you have high stress levels, you'll end up, what the? You'll end up like my computer. Crazy. What is going on? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My mouse is going crazy. Hold on. Okay. I have no idea what just happened. All right. You guys are going to have to excuse this Facebook, Facebook password thing. I don't know how to get that off. It's, I try to get it off and it's going crazy. Anyway, so why I bring this up is because a lot of the times if you're not, um, if someone tells you that they're always sick, it might be their stress levels. It might be that they're not sleeping well. Um, all those can definitely contribute to the fact that they're getting um, sick a lot sooner, a lot faster, right? All right, so let's go ahead and go through our um, targeted nutrition for immune health, okay? And this is, oh, you guys, this is an amazing product. The first one on the list is Best Defense. All right, this is a product that you want to take. First of all, it's like $10. With your discounts, you guys, it's like five, six bucks or something crazy like that. Um, so this is a product that you want to take when you're starting to feel sick, okay? So what you want to do is like a little Alka-Seltzer type of thing. So what you do is you take it in warm or cold water. I like it in hot water. It fizzles up. It tastes delicious. The orange tastes like tang, and the citrus lemon, the citrus mint is very, like, minty. It's really great. Um, you take it, and it gives you 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, which is a powerful antioxidant, but also has echinacea to support your immune sy system um, and lots of zinc, okay? So you want to take this one to two a day. If you're starting to get sick, like you can feel like you're starting to get sick, you want to take some best defense. Now, if you work with children, if you work at the hospital, if you work, if you have kindergartens at your house, if you have babies at your home, you might want to consider taking one of these every single day, whether it's in the morning, in the middle of the day, or at night, doesn't matter. You might want to consider to take one so that you don't get hung, you don't get um, sick because with all the germs, 
love you babies, right? With all the germs and all that stuff that babies have, or if you're working in an environment like a school environment with all these kids, or you're around a lot of offices where there's a lot of people around you, you might want to take one of these every single day starting like yesterday so you don't get sick, okay? So this um, this uh, Best Defense is amazing. It's little capsules. You just toss them in there and they fizzle up in hot water. It's so good. You put some tea in there with some aloe, it's bomb, okay? All right, next product, Rose Guard. Okay, you guys want to put a big, sorry, I cannot get this thing off the screen. I hope you guys don't mind my little, there we go, now it's connected. Hold on, there we go. Okay, so Rose Guard, all right? This is an amazing product. You want to put a big star next to it, and you we call this the, we call this the terminator of antioxidants, okay? So I'm going to turn off this screen for one second because I want you guys to see me. So here's what I want you guys to get. The, the, um, the uh, what do you call this thing? The Rose Guard, what it does, you guys, is this. It helps you, like, so when you have an antioxidant, so an antioxidant is something that fights free radicals. Free radicals are like bad germs in your system, okay? So just imagine every time we breathe or you're around somebody who's sick, or you're around pollution, you're breathing in free radicals, okay? Everybody breathes them in, okay? Everybody does, okay? So you breathe them in, but luckily, we have a good immune system, so the immunity in your, in your, um, your immune system kicks in and, like, fights off the free radicals, right? It, like, zaps them, like, ch -ch -ch, it kills them all off, okay? The moment of antioxidant, such as, you know, vitamin C, things like that, kills a free radical, that antioxidant dies with it, okay? So imagine this is a bad guy, and this is an, uh, uh, an antioxidant. It like kills it, but it, like a bee, it dies with it. So both of these die, right? So what ends up happening is, that's why you gotta be taking like vitamin C like all day long, things like that, right? This Rose Guard has a technology, which by the way, let me brag, Herbalife is the only company that has rights to this kind of technology. It has a technology, it's like the Terminator. Do you guys remember the Terminator that um, he would turn into liquid, like you would shoot him, it would turn into liquid, and it would just like multiply, right? Well, that's basically what this product does. So if you have asthma, allergies, now we don't cure anything, okay? But you've got asthma, allergies, respiratory system, bronchitis every single year, you have a hard time breathing, and you're an adult, okay, this product is, um, has a lot of rosemary, so it's really designed more for like 12, 14-year-olds and up, not for babies, I'll talk to you about babies in a minute, but um, it really helps to um, increase your, your immunity, and it helps to fight the free radicals all day long, all right, which is why this product, if you look at it, okay, let me put it back up there, if you look at it, there we go. It, um, it only has 60 tablets. You take it twice a day, preferably in the morning and at night. Okay, so this product, Rose Guard, is amazing. It has, like I said, tons of rosemary. So um, those people that know a lot about herbs and all that stuff, it's a very hot, heated product inside, right? So it really does a lot of work for you. That's the Rose Guard. Now, next on the list, Shisandra. This product, you guys, again, we do not cure anything, okay? But I will tell you a story, again, with disclaimers that we don't cure anything. But Shisandra is also an amazing antioxidant that helps to fight free radicals. Like I said, it has vitamin C. You guys can read it, right? But basically what it does, it's like the inhaler in a natural form. So if you have, and this one, the children can take, if you have asthma, allergies, bronchitis, all of that stuff, you want to combine Shisandra with Rose Guard, okay? If you're an adult and you have severe bronchitis and things like that, okay? I'll tell you, Sergio, when I first met him, um, every winter he told me that he would get sick, right? When I first met him, the first winter we were dating, he got really bad bronchitis. And ever since then, I've been giving him one Rose Guard every single day, like around summertime, spring, and right around the fall and winter, both of us up our Rose Guard to two a day, one in the morning, one at night. 
and that will really help prevent why wait till December to get bronchitis, right? Let's just take care of it. Let's, let's bring our immune system up. It also helps with anti-aging because it's got so many antioxidants, okay? So it's a great product for that. Now, Shisandra, on the other hand, is really, really great, but it's not as strong as the Rose Guard. So this one, everybody can take, including pregnant women, okay? It's an amazing product. Um, it helps with, it helps with um, opening up the respiratory system. If you've got children that have asthma, I would highly recommend that you give them this. They still have to have their inhaler next to them and all that kind of stuff. But I cannot tell you how many testimonials I have of people. Again, we do not cure anything, but the kids... Um, and I'll tell you what other pro well, I'll tell you now. Um, we give kids that have asthmas and allergies and stuff like that, the, the Kindermans, this right here, it's a um, liquid form of vitamins, okay? So we give kids the Kindermans to bring up their immune system so they don't get sick during the winter, so they don't get the bronchitis, they don't get the flu, they don't get the cold. And if they have asthma and things like that, you want to combine the Kindermans with the Shisandra, okay? So those two together for kids are an amazing combination if they have any type of respiratory problems. All right, I'll, I'll answer questions in a second. Last but not least, Garden 7, okay? This is the mother of all antioxidants. And this product right here gives you the seven phytonutrients of all fruits and vegetables. Okay, I never, I did not know this. But you, we should be having not only seven fruits and vegetables, but we shouldn't be having like seven apples. We should be having different colors, right? Like the broccoli and the onion and the grapes and the carrots, different colors because every fruit and vegetable has different benefits. This gives them all to you. So it helps to um, nourish all your cells, protect all your organs. It helps a lot with um, liver. Oh, oh, oh. And the other one that helps with the liver is the Rose Guard, okay? Rose, I forgot to tell you this. Rose Guard is a great product for somebody who has liver problems. Like, again, we don't cure anything, but the fatty liver and things like that, Rose Guard with Garden 7 is a great combination for people that have those kinds of situations, along with aloe, okay? Because aloe brings down the inflammation and purifies the blood. So this Garden 7, really what it does is it nourishes from the eyes to the brain, all your organs, your vital organs, okay? Because it gives you all the vitamins and minerals that the seven fruits and vegetables should give you. So those, in conclusion, you guys, those are our antioxidants that you want to take for the holidays, for this winter time. Now that the weather is changing, people are getting sick. Everybody, next time you get on your shopping card, make sure you add Best Defense. It's like $10 um, because you want to make sure you have it. The moment you get sick, pop it in. If you know that you're somebody that gets sick every year, without a doubt, make sure you add Rose Guard. Take it twice a day between now and December or January. So this holiday, you enjoy it and do not get sick. And it helps with anti-aging because it's full of antioxidants. And Shisandra. This was this one's also like I don't know like fifteen bucks. It's so inexpensive and it's a powerful, powerful product. Um, great for people that have allergies and asthma problems and stuff like that. And then the mother of all antioxidants, Garden Seven. Okay, so one of the um, very common questions that I get is this. Now I'll open up for questions. They ask me, well, if I'm taking the multivitamin, can I still take Garden Seven? Yes. The reason, because Garden 7 gives you the seven phytonutrients specifically from those fruits and vegetables. Another thing that I forgot to say is that Garden 7 is, a, again, we don't cure anything, but people that have thyroid problems, I am very blessed, I don't have that problem, but I've had clients who have had it, and they have shared with me that they feel like airheady. They don't feel like they can focus, that they feel like um, that they're all over the place. So if you, you know of anybody like that, you want to make sure you give them um, Garden 7. It really will help them focus. Also, people that have postpartum depression, um, all that kind of stuff will really, really help them. Thyroids, um, those kinds of things, okay? So, you guys, be careful with your noise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the lines. If you have a question, I want you to be like, Carla, this is Susie. And then I'll mute everybody except for you, okay? So let me unmute everybody, see if anybody has any questions. Okay, does anybody have any questions? 
Does anybody have any questions? Going once. Going twice. Yes? All right. No questions? All right. Okay, I guess I did a good job explaining, maybe. I don't know. Okay. All right, you guys. Any questions about anything? A client? Anything? No? Nope. All right. All right, you guys. Okay, well, I guess you guys don't have any questions. All right, so here's what I'm going to do for the next 15 minutes, okay? I am going to tell you guys about an amazing product called 24, okay? So look at this catalog, okay? The company, um, our, our, um, our Dr. Heinz, um, I think I spoke to you guys about this, gave, um, gave us all the research of the Herbalife 24. This is the book that they give um, uh, coaches with all the research behind it. So like, let's say if you're like a professional soccer coach, the doctors would go in and speak with you and they would bring this book, which has all the science and research and all the stuff behind our Herbalife 24 line. So next week, we're definitely going to cover this. Okay. But one of the things that I want to do for the next 15 to 20 minutes is um, go over with you guys how to start really filling in the pipeline for the end of the year. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I'm going to share with you guys. So grab a piece of paper and a pencil if you haven't already. And um, because I know for those of you guys who went to the university, the class on Wednesday night, they kind of already went over this. But I thought this was just brilliant. I really want to highlight something that we learned and something that we can all start to put in practice. And I want to share with you guys what I've been doing all day today that really gave me some massive results, okay? So let's first start with what we talked about at the university, okay? So let me go ahead and open a whiteboard. Okay, so one of the things that we learned about the in the class last Wednesday, okay, was how to start getting your 20 clients. So one of the things that, or 20 plus clients, okay, so one of the things that they were talking about, which I thought, I thought was so great, was how do you go ahead and build a client base? And here's what he said, right? Like if this is you, and if you really make an effort, okay, to get, I don't know, three to five clients, right, the more, whoop, love my drawing, the more the better, okay? And you, the moment you have, like, let's say you've got this person right here, right? The moment you start asking them, so let's start writing down, so you guys really need to get this clear, and I say it with a lot of respect, the one that speaks the most gets convinced, okay? And I've had the great pleasure of listening to some of you guys talking to your clients, and some of you guys talk way too much, and some of you guys don't talk at all, okay? So let's go ahead and go over, like, how can we be effective and really help people get their results without overdoing it or without not doing it, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you want to ask them, what is your goal, okay? And then just, and then be quiet, right? And the moment they say, okay, well, my goal is to lose my belly, right? So then you ask them, okay, from a scale from 1 to 10, how serious are you? Okay, and then the moment they say, you know, like let's say if someone says a 10, okay, then I'll tell you what to say. But most of the time they say between an 8 and a 9. So let's say they say an 8. So then I always ask them, okay, what prevents you, let's see, what prevents you from being a 10? Okay, from being a 10. And then I'd be quiet. And here, for the most part, they'll say things like, oh, I'm just not consistent. Um, I just, I can't give up candy, like the guy said to me today, right? I can't give up candy. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I just, I can't do it. I just, I'm not consistent. I just can't do it, right? Or whatever the case may be. Now, if they tell me, well, I'm a 10, I'm super serious. And then I say to them, okay, well, why are you super serious? Like, do you have a wedding coming up? Or are you just like, tired of not fitting into your clothes and then normally I stay quiet and then they'll say things like no I'm sick of being the way I am I say okay great so then I say okay look based and here's what I say write this down based on what you want let me share with you what I recommend all right and if Anna Hernandez is listening this is exactly what I told the guy that she brought today, right? So based on what you want, let me share with you what I would recommend. 
And at that point, you go ahead and you bring the products on the table. I brought the shake and the protein, in this case, the tea. You gotta feel things out, okay? Because a lot of the times, if someone's hesitant, I always recommend start something small, and then they can always build it up, right? They can always increase increase it, okay? But And then so you bring out the products. Oh my God, this thing's so annoying. Okay, hold on. There you go. You bring out the products, and then you just start explaining to them, okay, look, here's the deal, right? And then you just tell them. Um, you say, okay, here's the shake, the protein, and the tea. And then you just start asking them, because by then you already asked them, like, how, you know, what do you have for breakfast, all that kind of stuff, right? So then you just... Speak, again, I'm saying that you're speaking into what they told you that they're missing. So, for example, one of the guys today, right, he was like, you know, so I asked him, so what's your goal? And he's like, well, you know, I really want to miss, I really want to lose this belly right here, right? And I said, okay, well, like, what do you mean? Like, you look great. Like, he's like, I know. He's, I'm like, that's all sugar. Like, tell me something. Like, tell me a little bit about what you eat. Like, what do you have for breakfast? And then I just let him talk. Great. What do you have for lunch? What do you have for dinner? I just ask them questions, right? What, you know, what's your beverage? Like, you know, what, what kind of drinks do you have throughout the day? Okay. And I just listen and I say, okay, great. So let me ask you something on a scale from one to 10. How serious are you about losing that, that little belly? And he's like, no, like I'm obsessed. Like I really want to lose it. Right. And then he was so like this with his eyes that I was like, okay, like why? Like, do you have something coming up? Do you have a wedding, a party, a vacation? What? He's like, no, I'm just obsessed. Like I look at my, I look in, I look in the mirror and like, I, if I, if I see anything like not, I don't like, I just get obsessed and I'm like, okay, okay. All right. Well, look, based on what you're telling me, let me share with you what I would recommend. All right. And I went out, I got the shake and the protein and the tea. Right. And, um, and it's funny because here's the thing you guys want to get. And I really want to share this with you guys because sometimes even me, okay, because we're all human. We can mess something up, and you've got to be quick to fix it. So I brought the shake, the protein, and the tea. And I said, here, let me share with you what I would recommend. I told him, here, the shake and the protein. I was explaining to him what it does. It's your healthy breakfast every morning, 24 grams of protein, 190 calories. You're going to feel great. You're going to go to the bathroom. You have lots of energy. Benefit, 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 right? And I said, and this Formula One comes in two um, – it comes in two um, – it comes in two kinds. It's the Formula One, this one, and we also have a Formula One Sport, okay, um, which I'm probably going to recommend a Sport for you because, and he goes, why? And I'm like, oh, because it's got whey protein, so it's really great to build muscle. He's like, no, 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 but I want to lose weight. The moment he said that, you guys, I was like, okay, great. Let's just start you with this one, right? So why I'm saying this is because I should have never brought up the Formula One Sport. That was bad on me, all right? Why? Because remember, when you give people too many choices, they will zone out, and too many choices means no choice, okay? So I was like, God, I shouldn't have done that, right? Because had I just brought out the Formula One sport and the formula and the protein, then it would have been an easy thing for me to just tell him, which I honestly think that that would have been a better choice for him. But then given that he's such a sweet tooth, then the formula – one regular, it, it's, it's fine for him. You know, I, you know, I told him, and this is, this one's soy, the other one's whey. He's like, no, 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 but I want to lose, the, I want to lose this weight. So because the product says weight management or something like that, it says something that yeah, says weight management on the formula one. That's what he saw. And he's like, no, 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 I want to lose weight. So I said, okay, great. We'll start you with this one. So I say this to you guys because I messed up number one. I give him too many choices without even showing him the product, okay? He doesn't know, right? But it's still. And the moment I recognized it, I immediately just fixed it by just going, great, just, let's just do you with the Formula One, okay? And then I said, here's a shake. You have this shake every day for breakfast. And then the tea, I said, you know how you want to lose that belly? See, I'm speaking into what he wants, right? So I said, you know how you want to lose that belly? I'm like, this tea is going to help you, give you lots of energy, it's going to burn fat, boost up your metabolism, okay, it's gonna, and more importantly, it's going to help you, like, get rid of excess water, it's going to make you go to lots of the restroom, so you'll lose, you'll lose some inches. The more you drink, the more you shrink, and he's like this, his eyes just popped out, right? So, listen to what I said, I didn't lie, all of that is true, but I spoke into 
what he wanted, right? I didn't bring up the aloe. I didn't bring up the rebuild. And for those of you who are here working out today, you probably would have thought Carla's going to recommend the rebuild to this guy. But see, what he wants is to get rid of that belly, okay? So I want to help him accomplish what he wants. See, I'm going to share something really quick with you guys. We sometimes, not us, but people, okay? I know not, not, nobody here on the call, but sometimes we end up telling people what we want to tell them versus what they really want, like really what they want to actually get, okay? So why I say this is because this last weekend, I'm going to share with you guys a really quick story. This last weekend, um, somebody, we had an opportunity to go with somebody to um, get some, this particular person, let's call him Bob, right? Bob had to go see this guy named Mario, and Mario wants to get on the products, right? And Bob gets to Mario's shop, to his um, business, and, um, and Mario's like, you know, very busy businessman, and he's like, you know, he wants to know, know about the products, kind of, not really, but kind of. And um, Bob goes there, and he's like, all right, listen, and he puts on the table all this product, mistake number one, the guy gets overwhelmed and he's like, oh my God, what is this, right? And uh, Bob puts all this product on the table. He's like, look, this is what you're going to take. Okay, the guy, Bob never asked Mario, hey, so tell me, what are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? What does your day look like? Remember, those that speak the most win. So we need to ask questions so we know what they want so that then we can give them what they want, not what we want to give them, okay? I wanted to give the guy the rebuild. It makes sense to me. He looks buffy, but he wants to get rid of that little belly. So let me help him get rid of that belly, right? And um, so anyway, so Bob, long story short, Mario's like, yeah, I, I, you know, I want to build muscle. I, I want to go to the gym. I want to build muscle. And Bob starts t selling him Bob's favorite products. He's like, okay, well, the Formula One and the protein. Oh, you're going to love Male Factor. You're going to love Prelox Blue. And he starts giving him all this stuff. And Mario's like, like overwhelmed, you know? So I bring this up because we must stop, read the Tanita, right? Read the Tanita sheet. If you don't know how to read the Tanita sheet, it's on my YouTube channel, okay? It says Tanita sheet. Click on that. It's like 20 minutes long. You can read it. I literally tell you what to say word for word on each number. Get the Tanita sheet. Turn it around. Okay, see, look how I'm, I'm not lying. This is what I did today, right? Turn it around. Ask him what his goal is. See, I put midsection. He wanted to lose his belly, right? And then I started asking him, like, what do you eat? And he's like, oh, my sweets, this and that, this and that. I go, look, let me explain to you what it does, why you're craving sugar so much. And I say, here's, here's your normal sugar levels, okay? So when you have those high sugar meals, your sugar rises up. But the problem is it goes down lower right? And then right when you're down here, you're like, oh, I want some more sugar, right? And then you pick it up again with some other sweet thing. Now, if you were to get a high protein, and I tell them, look, have you ever had like a breakfast and you have like, like, like a really good omelet with like veggies or chicken or something, uh, something in there that like you eat that omelet and you're like full for like a long time, huh? And he's like, yeah, actually. I'm like, and you're not craving crazy things because what protein does, okay? And I said, the protein, your sugars don't, your don't, they, they give you lots of energy, but, the, but they drop down just a little bit under your normal level, okay? And that's why when you drink the shakes, you feel so great. It gives you, boom, lots of energy but it doesn't drop you down here. It drops you a little bit under your normal sugar levels because it's all protein that gave you that energy, not the sugar, right? So this is something that I drew out for him and he's like, oh, that makes sense, right? And I was like, look, so what I would, what I would recommend, and then I said, look, and I said, you know this already, you need to eat every two, three hours. If you really want to lean up and you want to put some, some muscle on and get rid of that belly fat and you really want to like tone up, you got to be eating every two, three hours so that your metabolism is going and you're not craving all those sugars. I said, you could even have like every two hours, maybe have like 
two hours after you have your shake, have an apple. Then two hours later, you know, have like a yogurt. Then have your lunch. Then two hours later, have something else, right? Like a string cheese or something. The more you keep your metabolism going and you're feeding it, the easier it's going to be. And then he said to me, he goes, well, uh, that's, that's a lot of food. That's a lot of eating. I go, well, you can always just have another shake. Oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds good for me, right? So you've got to give people solutions to their problems. I mean, it's not a problem, but you guys get what I'm saying, right? The challenges that they have. So the guy, like, loves sweets and is always eating sweets because I told him, I said, watch, take the shake in the morning. You're not going to be craving sweets. You know, he took a rebuilt strength right afterwards. He's like, damn, this is really good. I'm like, I know, it's like chocolate milk, right? But guess what I said? I said, but just start with the shake and the protein and the tea. Let's just start you there. And whenever you're ready, we'll add the rebuild strength, right? Because I knew he was already kind of hesitant. If I would have given him the shake and the protein and the tea and the rebuild strength, he would have not wanted anything. It's a little overwhelming sometimes for people, right? Unless they're used to taking supplements, they're used to investing in their bodies, they get it. They're like, yeah, I get it, right? Shake for breakfast, rebuild at the end, they get it. But this particular person this doesn't see it, so... I just, I, I, not, not like in a bad way, but I, I met him at his level, right? I met him at his knowledge level. So you guys, it's really important, okay? Number one, what is your goal? Okay, number two, how serious are you from a scale from one to 10? Okay, and then, you know, go ahead and listen and then speak into what they, um, what they want. So before I go to the next topic about what I've been doing with social media um, that gave me some awesome results today, I wanna just open up the lines really quick and see if anybody has any questions. Okay, does anybody have any questions about what we just talked about? Anybody? Questions, comments? Feedback? I do, Carla. Is that a silly? I do. What's up, babe? So I have a question. A person up from IG wanted a, he's a 350 pounds. He wants to lose it as ASAP. What would you recommend? He's 350 pounds? Yes, and he wants to be, um, at least lose like 100. And he says that he was like um, eight, eight to nine serious about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he wants to lose it ASAP, but he's eight to nine. All right, I got it. Okay. So one of the things I'm going to ask you to ask him, Araceli, okay, is ask him what prevents him from being a 10, okay? Okay, next time you see him, ask him what prevents you from being a 10 so that you can help him understand, so you can understand what are his struggles, okay? So let me go ahead and share with you guys what is, um, when somebody wants to lose that much weight, you guys, let me go ahead and open up my screen. Okay, here's what you guys want to know. When somebody wants to lose that much weight, besides, of course, the shake, the protein, right? The shake and the protein is super important, all right? Absolutely, Araceli, give him the tea. Absolutely, super important. Now, here's the thing, you guys. You want to ask people, how, how, much, like, how much anxiety do you have when it comes to eating, right? So, um, I don't know how you say that in English, but like how much anxiety, like, are you always hungry? Are you sometimes hungry? Like talk to me about your hunger levels. Let me tell you why I'm saying this. If somebody is always hungry, I recommend that you give them the total control. Okay. Now, if they have to pick between the T and the total control, if somebody's always hungry, absolutely give them the total control. Because the total control is going to really help to control their appetite, okay? So with all respects that this gentleman deserves, he didn't, get three, he didn't get to 350 pounds eating salads, right? So he probably has some anxiety with food, whether it's, you know, late at night or um, just like compulsing eating or something like that. You know, we all have to, our, our own challenges. So you want to, don't, don't like say that, but ask him, like, what prevents you from being a 10? And listen. And then you want to ask them, okay, so tell me a little bit about like your day. Like, what do you do? Like, what, what is your biggest struggle? What do you struggle with the most? And then they'll say things like, I don't know. I'm just always hungry. Or they'll say things like, I don't eat all day. Okay. If they don't eat all day, they then go ahead and give them the tea. Okay. But if they're hungry all day long, give them the total control. That will really control their appetite. Now, for somebody like this, I would also recommend that you include cellulose. Why? Because a lot of that 
excess weight is water retention. All right, if you were to go like this on his skin, his like, you know, if you guys do this on your skin, okay, you will notice like some of the, like, like for me, I don't, I, you don't see my fingerprint, right? But a lot of people, they retain so much water that when you go like this, it leaves their fingerprint like for a long time. Like, yes, you'll see your fingerprint because you press down, but like it'll leave it there for a while, turn it white, okay? So they have a lot of water retention. So we definitely want to give them cellulose, give them one, three times a day. I personally take two, three times a day, but it's up to them, okay? And the other product that I would highly recommend that you give him is Aminogen. Actually, you guys, anybody here on the phone that struggles with saggy skin, or somebody that needs to lose a lot of weight, you want to take Aminogen. Why? Because Aminogen helps support digestive protein digestion. The shake has Aminogen in it. But you want to take this when you eat food so that it breaks down the protein and takes them to the muscle so that you don't get all flabby as you're losing weight. Now, of course, you got to exercise. you got to do all your part, okay? But it's really going to help you not have a lot of flabby skin. Okay, so you want to make sure that, um, anyway, they want to make sure that you have a lot of uh, amino jet in somebody's um, tablet box that has, um, that has people wanting to lose a lot of weight, okay? So this product, amino jet, is an amazing product for people that have excess weight to lose, okay? So I would start here, Maraceli, um, um, Again, I say this with a lot of respect, okay? But a lot of the times, people that are overweight um, don't have the most discipline, okay? So, because I can only assume that, you don't tell them that, okay? But you want to understand that, and I know because I was overweight, that I didn't get to be overweight because I had all the discipline in the world. So, you don't want to give them all this product and then have them not do anything. So, I would start him off with the shake and the protein total control, and then add the cellulose and aminogen if he can afford those other two products. If he can only afford one or the other, I would probably do the um, cellulose first and then add the aminogen later, only because the shake has aminogen in it, okay? So you just want to make sure, and you want to make sure that somebody that has to lose that much weight is eating their meals throughout the day, their shake, their snacks, their shake. I mean, sorry, their lunch, their snack, and their shake, and they probably need to have another meal after their shake at night with some egg whites and stuff like that, okay? So, um, so I hope that, let me, let me unmute it. Did that answer your question, Araceli? Yes. All right, awesome. So we have time for one more question. Anybody else have one more question? Okay. All right, you guys. So let me explain to you guys what I did all day today that can serve you, okay? All right, great. So grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Let me see if I can actually um, share it with you guys. So what I did today is I actually went, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that, and look at the keep coming in. What? Okay, so I, um, I put up, I posted a picture of Sergio and I. And um, what I noticed is when you post pictures of yourself, it's a lot more effective. So I posted a picture of Sergio and I, and, um, and I put Transformational Tuesday, okay? And then what I did was I went into my picture, okay? I went into my picture and I looked at all the pic people that liked it, right? And I went on each person and just kind of really quickly looked through their profile. And, uh, you know, if they didn't look creepy, I'd message them. But if they were with Herbalife, I didn't message them. But this guy doesn't look like he's with Herbalife, right? So then I private message them, okay? Private message them. And I'm actually um, going to go ahead and read to you what I private messaged them that gave me a lot of great results. So hang on one second. Let me open my messenger. Okay. So, okay, this is what I said. Uh, da, 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 da. here we go. So I said, hi, and then in this case, Bob, right? Hi, Bob, and that's the only part that I, I personalized. Everything else I had copied and pasted, right? I put, hi, Bob, and I put, thank you. Um, thank you for supporting my husband and I with our Herbalife transformation. Not sure if you were simply rooting for us or you are interested in learning more, but if you are, I would be happy to tell you about it. Either way, thank you for the positivity, okay? So I can, um, 
I can put it on here again, or I write it down actually. You guys want, this gave me so many people would like reply back, like, no, I'm just rooting for you. And I was like, okay, thank you. You know, and then some, this particular person put, I'm super interested. Can I have the times and hours again so I can stop by? Um, and then I, you know, apparently I had messaged him before. Um, I am satisfied with all my trainings. I just really need to tighten up my core, right? So I'm going to read it again to you guys. So thank you. So hi, Mike, question mark. I mean, uh, exclamation mark or Bob, whatever his name is. Thank you for supporting. And then I put my husband and I with our herbal life transformation. Not sure if you were simply rooting for us or interested in learning more. So I'll say it again. Thank you for supporting my husband and I with our Herbalife transformation. And if it's just you, just say, you know, thank you for rooting me, okay? Not sure if you were simply rooting for us or me or you are interested in learning more. If you are, I would be happy to tell you about it. Okay, exclamation mark. And then I put either way, thank you for the positivity, right? And then once people started replying, okay, for example, this particular person, right? She put, you're welcome. That's all she put, okay? But because I had seen her profile, I, uh, I saw she was really, she look, looks like a nice lady. Her name's Jackie. And she looks like she likes to eat healthy, right? So all she put was, you're welcome. So then this is what I told her. I said, hey, girl, where do you live, question mark. I am in Whittier. I ask you because I run an all-women's workout program called Team Beauty. I saw your page, and I think you would be so great for it. Do you like to work out? And then she replied back, I live in Torrance, but I see your videos all the time. They're super great. I work in Whittier, and yes, I like to work out. So then, you know, I just, wrote, you know, I said, oh, that's great. And then I just, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I'm having a conversation with her. Long story short, turns out she has a daughter and they're going to come that this Saturday because we're going out of town. But next Saturday for sure. Thank you, Carla. My name is Jackie and my daughter's name is Savannah. Right. And I did that with another girl. Same thing. Her name is Katie. Right. Um, I, um, I said, you know, I said, you know, thank you, blah, blah, blah. She put, hi, Carla. Good job. I do admire the good job you guys have done. Thank you for such, for, thank you for such an inspiration. Keep up the good work. That's all she said. So then, that's all she said, right? So I looked at her profile, thought she was super cute. So I wrote the same thing. Invited her for Team Beauty. I live in Arleda. Ah, uh, thank you. I would be so interested. What are the days and the times? And I sent her the information. Okay, so I wanted to just share this with you guys because here's the thing, you know, so many times people like things, make comments, and I say this with a lot of love, but I have seen your guys' comments where people will be like, oh my God, you look amazing, and then you put, thank you, girl. That's it, right? Here's what I want you guys to get, and we'll end with this. A lot of times people are shy to ask for help, or they're shy to ask you know, what are you doing? Or they're shy to ask you, where are you going? So one of the things that I'm going to recommend, if you guys want to, when somebody gives you some love, yes, on the comment, be like, thank you. I just DM'd you, right? And then, you know, DM them and be like, hey, girl, thank you so much for the love. And then you could say something according to whatever the post was. Like, I would probably say something like, yeah, I'm so happy. You know, my husband and I are working out together. You know, it's been so great. How are you doing? You know, uh, do, you know have a conversation with her or him, right? And then when they respond, be like, oh, I'm doing so great. Yeah, you look fantastic, blah, 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 blah. Then I would be like, you know, you should totally come join us. You would love it. The place is doing a free promotion right now for his free six-week challenge. You can come to check it out. You know what I'm saying? So first, like, say something for them to say something back and then make the invitation, especially if you know them right? So I just wanted to share with you guys. I literally stayed home all day today and like I gave myself an hour and just like I posted in the morning and then I gave myself an hour and just like, you know, messaged a bunch of people. And as they were replying, I started having conversations throughout the day, right? So for those of you guys who have a job, this is something you could do like during your lunch break and then maybe after work, reply to all the messages that people replied to. Okay, so um, 
with that said, we have one minute to go. I want to just open up the lines and see if anybody has any questions about that. Does anybody have any questions about that? Going once, going twice. All right, you guys. So listen up. Before, um, let me go ahead and give you guys the last announcement. So tomorrow we are all going to um, the training in Brea. And um, let's make sure we get there early so we grab good seats. And then also, um, Sergio and I want to um, share something with you guys. So once you guys get there, please go ahead and save your seats. And then once we all get there, we'll go ahead and um, um, we'll go ahead and meet up. We have some couple things we want to share with you guys. We want to see. Well, let me just tell you now. We want to see if. Um, so we're 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 gonna we're gonna like like I like Sergio has mentioned to you guys. The last quarter of the year is really important to really promote like crazy, so that starting January first. We have a lot of people in the pipeline because the new year, I even had a guy say, reach out, maybe next year. I'm like, okay, talk to you 2017, okay? But anyhow, um, we want to make sure we help you guys fill up the pipeline. So come January 1st, we have a big influx of business here. So we want to see if you guys would like to join us for Sunday for a workout, get all glammed up. And um, we'll bring some cameras. I'm trying to get a hold of somebody that could perhaps videotape us um, to take some really professional pictures, like really nice because it will be so bright with light, lots of lighting um, so that you guys could definitely have it to post on your Instagram or your Facebook, wherever you want to post it at. And we're going to do a, a, a website with all your guys' um, pictures and a little bit of story about you guys so you guys can also use the website. When somebody asks you, do you have a website, do you have information, we, you could send them there and your picture will be there to support your business, okay? So we'll talk about those details tomorrow at the meeting and then um, I got some other surprises for you guys, but that'll be tomorrow. So with that said, you guys, um, does anybody else have any questions before we say goodnight? Uh, no? I think we're good. I'm good. All right.